she said that Michelangelo had really didn't know how to cast bronze and he tried three times and each time that the casting broke and when they finally got it perfect the French had invaded and they melted it down and made a cannon out of it. She said that, that this was the same place that Michelangelo came uh, centuries ago and that he used to have a cart with two oxen pulling this you know big heavy bronze I guess and doing all this stuff with melting it. And well we use a lost wax method and this is I would say uh, all the traditional method to do bronze casting but takes time. There would be wax over the clay then a plaster cast made and then bronze over that and then the plaster would kind of be broken and, and taken out. For example when the artist arrived here with uh, his mother or her mother's ready we needed to make a negative. Now he's finishing to make a, a negative, a plaster mold on the sculpture, and he's putting the plaster in order to, to make the right thickness for the, for, for the mold. It's not easy to, to understand, but as I told you before, once we have a, the mother from the artist, we have to make a negative. And usually we do this negative first in silicone or in rubber, and then we need the, the plaster to keep the rubber in position or to make us a structure for keeping the, the rubber in position. So we make a mold on that and we have to reproduce the model in wax. We are trying to, to show you the way that Fiore was uh, treating her um, uh, wax model because uh, with that kind of tools, which you see they are only, I would say, square with the piece of metal, she was using the tools almost hot. So it takes time to, eh, you see now, see. The way that the, the tools leaves the surface of the wax is like uh, more or less like uh, washed and that makes something I would say typical or at least characteristic of uh, Fiore. She was using also a knife. So now she's going to take one of that. Of course, I cannot tell you that it is the one that Fiore was using, but more or less, this, this, uh, uh, the, I mean, the, the way that it works, the wax is the same. If you imagine, for example, this way of finishing on a, on a face or on, on a flesh of the, 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 the face of a portrait, this will change the, the modeling in a way that it, it is not possible to make in clay, but just in wax. If you imagine on, the, on the, for example, the lips or the eyes or the nose of a figure, this, this gives a little difference of treating. For example, under the eyes or something like that one. She was using that one in order to make the, the portrait with the strength signs, strength, strong signs, excuse me, strong signs. You say that more or less he was using first this one in order to make a deepest line, then she was using that one in order to, to make a little bit soft. More or less, it's the main, the main way, way of modeling in wax, of course, was that one. That method of modeling, it's, I would say, something that Führer was, uh, if you allow me to say, using for years and years because it was something typical of, of her way of finishing the wax. This, this wax model is, uh, I would say, a copy as per the original, and the artist then goes uh, in order to, to make uh, more details or taking care. Once it's finished, once the artist says, okay, go ahead with the next step, we need to make a gating. Gating, I mean, we need to have the structure which will bring the bronze inside the, the mold. She was having some, some uh, sculptures bronzed at the time, and so we had this outing where she was doing some of her work and then we had this fabulous lunch outside at this table in the shade with the filtered light and the wonderful Italian food. Once we make a, a wax reproduction of the model made by the artist, we needed to make a, a negative for the bronze casting because this method is called a loss wax method. We needed to place this mold in the kilns so that the kilns with the firing will completely burn and destroy the wax and the bamboo wood which we use for feeding the bronze inside the mold. Usually we spend uh, two weeks for firing, I mean to, um, to destroy the wax inside, inside the mold. 
uh, you can see that the kilns are quite huge because uh, we might cast a piece uh, up to eight feet in, in one piece without cut it. This is because we, use, we still use a lost wax method. Uh, 